Yes, Adrian, we spoke to one man in this neighborhood who tells us he witnessed a lot of violence in just a little bit of space and time. He and others from this plaza where everything got started tell us this is just very unnerving. I heard the bang, you know, what I didn't know what happened. I looked out here. Sam Hall peered from his home to see a tussle spill from this crash car. Knocked that guy out and they drug him up through there. Mm -hmm. and he was all bruised up. He couldn't have known then he was seeing the start of a violent spree stretching many miles away from his neighborhood into land. It all apparently stemmed from a carjacking a block away in this parking lot and the thievery didn't stop there. That one guy grabbed that one, just slung him around like that, tore his shirt off, and they went back and stole that woman's car. There were two women, mm -hmm. and they were over here look, looking, and when the guy come up through there with her car, they had to jump back over out of the way to keep him getting run over. The women Sam saw apparently became victims themselves when they saw the crash and stopped to help. Back at the plaza where the first carjacking took place, business owners like B.B. Jones at BNR Thrift are bewildered. It's a lot of kids and stuff that be out here, so I don't want nothing like that to happen. I don't want no kids to see stuff like that, you know. Somebody need to do something about this stuff out here. From Deland, Matt Lapoli, West 2, the news hour at 10. And we are sure to learn more about this deputy involved shooting in the coming days. Of course, be sure to stay with West 2 News for developments. And Jacksonville.